But let's go ahead and jump into this uh, boy album by Two Hollis. So the story of Two Hollis for me was I maybe heard his name or seen what he looked like when he opened up for Ken Carson. I went to go see him on the Great Chaos Tour or whatever that tour was called. I, I seen about a month ago and he did a great job. The crowd was rocking. He was a great opener. It was really my first time ever listening to him. I maybe checked out a couple songs, but I just wanted to listen to this project in full. But I absolutely love how good his opening performance was. And when an opener gets you to listen to their music and check them out and you get to learn more about them, I just love that experience. So this is my first project by him. Let's go. Six minute opener, hell yeah. Far away. Mm. Far away. But closer than ever. Wow. For the first time the first time holding on I like where this is going. I didn't really expect it to be so kind of calming. There's some whispers in there. It definitely matches the cover art, which is a cool photo um, with the clouds and then the light coming through on the mountains back there. I don't know where this photo was taken, but I like what it's building up into. And I keep in mind, I only really saw him do like fucking EDM shit and he really had the crowd bouncing and it sounded really cool. So I hope we get a lot of that on this album. Um, but also, I'm already experiencing some of his range with this intro The soundscape is sick. Okay, Greens, what's good? This like organ or whatever is, is came in is really, really nice. Um, this is from, from June. I, I'm just catching up. I'm just doing an album reaction I'm catching up on. This is my first time listening to Two Hollis. Give me faith. teasing a build-up earlier. A 
That kind of hurt my ears. <laughs> Maybe I had it too loud. <laughs> Because this is extreme. I don't know if I love this part. I mean, there's obviously some yelling, lots of clutterness. Okay, I kind of got like Five Night at, Night at Freddy's like jump scared for a moment. But now that we've gotten to the drops and everything led up to this, we still have a lot of the song to go to. But whoa, whoa, it's loud. I turned it down slightly, bro. <laughs> Kind of crazy. <laughs> ah. I mean, whoa, we just came out of a cluster. Not like in a bad way, but... Just breathe, bro. I like some of these sounds, though, you know? I don't know what this recording is of. Goes in the booth. There's parts of this song I like, though, for sure. Quite the uh, opener. Um... Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Just some white noise to, to coast it out. I mean, if you just played me some of the drops in there, then it'd be a little much for me. But there was so much more going on. There's a lot more to the song, and it's six minutes I think is rewarding. I don't love when things get overly clustered. I wouldn't want that to be a full album of doing that too much, you know, where I had to turn it down. Not bad by any means. Um, quite the striking opener, uh, you know, a soundscape that, like I said, kind of fits like the cover, but is still kind of strange. Um, the lyrics, like I said, he brought in the whisper, but it was still somewhat minimalistic. I feel like we have a lot more to like dive into, um, but quite the polarizing first track in a way to like start this project. What's a good vamp? All I hear is he. I'm ready for more though, for sure. So let's go too bad. Second track. How much does he produce? Like all his stuff or just some? Miss 
missing more than anything. What a catch. Take me inside. I touch all my friends. I'll touch you back. Can't punch your gate. Uh, and I'm like to class. Uh, I'm on the very last day. And it'll make you mad. I know it makes you mad. I know it makes you mad. I know it makes you mad. <laughs> Yo, this beat, wow, and I love that it just came back there. Kind of sounds like Juice. What are you on? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Hefty. The Mario Kart theme track. I love the beat. I love the beat. Yeah, he sings in there. I mean, it definitely, I, I see the, um, you know, like I'm a big fan of like, uh, Eric DOA hasn't gotten this extreme. He's more pop to me, but there's a lot of like, comparisons on that first track to Glaive to me. I feel like he can make something, you know, similar. Um, so yeah, just kind of, it's not far off from a hyper pop shit that I've, I've enjoyed. Um, I think it's really cool and I like beats like this. So when I saw him in concert, I was used to beats like this, which I love. And some of them are, you know, even more EDM. I wouldn't even say this song's gotten there yet, but I like this. But he's, yeah, he's still melodic. in a way different part of the song. It's a switch and it switched quick. Whoa. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with the lyrics as much. Um, but yo. Yo. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I could I could do this for a lot of tracks. That's, uh, that's all I'm saying. Um, definitely, I still like his melodic undertones in there and some of the, the notes that he does hit. Um, also, was there a like a fucking a game in the back? It's like he, it's like he put in like a well, for me, it's soccer, but did he put, like, a soccer stadium in the background in there, in that beat? What the fuck? Added so much to the environment. That was cool. There's, like, a crowd noise of some sort. I loved it. And the synths, yeah. The bounce, yeah. pause it because i have stuff to talk about i'm sorry but it did kind of transition because he started mentioning the next track that's really cool okay um yeah i okay i brought up glaive earlier i don't know if that would 
piss off a two Hollis fan. I don't know. But I like this guy. I like this guy. And again, he was a good performer. And after, um, you know, me and a couple of my buddies, we kind of got to experience his music for the first time. His set was over. We're waiting for Ken. We're like, yo, that was dope. But you know what he said? I'm like, dude, he's got this Prince Luscious hair, but he's like Glaive on drugs. Because he reminds me, uh, he, he, he fits in now, two songs in a row, he fits in those yelling notes, which really reminds me of Glaive a lot. Um, so I, th I don't know, this is kind of up my alley, man. And I, I'm down, I don't know, I feel like I've been checking out more of, you know, this type of music, and I'm, I totally rock with this genre for sure. Um, and I'm, yeah, I will have a lot of fun, pop, hyper pop, whatever, like, I will sit here and fucking bounce this shit, bro. I, let's do more of that. That, too bad was sick. All right, Sister, track three. I mean, Glaive's one of my favorites, so gotta respect it, Vamp. Come on. I'm a huge stan, to be fair. I was just making comparisons. Not as chaotic, but still kind of gets you to move, you know, and it's not, it breaks up the track list where it's not going to make it as repetitive. It's probably one of the more like slower songs on here. Also, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to make it weird, but the, the line, girl, I love you like a sister, uh, is very close. It's like those tweets where like the comma saves it from being really weird, like, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about? It's really close. It's punctuation mark or one word change from being really weird, you know? Sorry, it's just like some Twitter jokes it reminds me of. Um, but I even like a kind of vibe like this. Um, and I'm, I'm starting to learn more about him. He can display emotion on the first few tracks if he wants to. Um, sub subject matter is fine. Him talking about these girls or, you know, his situations or whatnot. I fuck with it. <laughs> Lots of school references. He's at the bleachers. He's late to class. Some teen shit. That's fr that is freaky. That's freaky. Up a little bit. Girl, I love you like a sister. Oh. Cross my fingers when I'm with you. Pull back a smile, send my teeth. Hair in the bleachers, I'm in my room. Girl, I love you like a sister. Cross my fingers when I'm with you. Pull back a smile, send my teeth. Hair in the bleachers, I'm in my room. This is, okay, this, this part here is a great example of he does cut his voice off a lot, a lot of little chops in there because sometimes the you know along with the beats or whether it's his voice and I like how another good display of his voice I feel like on this track I like it you know it's not it's not harsh on the ears I can understand what he's saying 
And there's some underground guys that it's like, bro, I don't even, I can't recite one lyric, you know? And so I know Two Hollis isn't really like a rapper. I won't compare him to fully, I'm not going to say he's an underground rapper, but he kind of gets put in that place a little bit because, um, just because he partially was blown up from his performances opening for Ken Carson, which was huge for him, which is honestly the best spot to be because Ken has only gone to the moon and Ken's the fucking goat. So... I, I like what I'm hearing through first three tracks. I've gotten a little bit of diversity from him. and I mean, we have a lot to go, but I like the way his music is sounding to me along with the concert experience also still being a completely kind of different thing we haven't even fully even gotten to. But I like where he's going. I, I like this guy. I like his image. I like his style, his sound, unique beats. I mean... Creative for sure. Everything I do, every single move, every single All right, track four, Crush. What up, Ben? CO2 Hollis is kind of a mix of EDM and hyper pop. Yeah, yeah, I get that. His mom is a label founder. Wow. And he grew up a chance of learning from a Skrillex. Okay, so that that makes sense with the influences. If you focus on the sound, um, you should check out more of his hyper pop. Electro Clash. I have never heard of that before, but I'm interested. <laughs> um, Period of help. Okay. Nice. Is this the best song? Okay, I remember this sound kind of. Yeah, this was definitely played at concert. Yeah, I've heard about Sophie. I'm diving into the influence in the scene for sure. I've done some other reactions. Uh, Charlie XCX and other things. Was that yelling again? Okay, well, uh, first of all, I think this is one of the catchier songs. I definitely remember that part a little bit, but I just, I really like the bounce of a lot of these songs. They worked when he was performing and I saw him. Um, so yeah, I think Crush is, is one of the better ones. I've liked every song so far, to be honest. I'd play them all back. Um, we have a lot to go, but um, I definitely, yeah, I'm getting more into the scene, which I really, really like. And I think going back to what I said earlier, lots of, in a way, teen, you know, love experiences. I have a crush on you. I love, you know, like lots of, you know, I talked about being around in school and like the girls and whatnot. Like in a way, it's still kind of teen boy lyrics. Does that make sense? You know, like not, ex not exactly the sounds you'd imagine, but in his own way. I, I like, I like what he's talking about. Look at fresh today, thank you. What the fuck? Everything I do, every single move, every single time I've ever thought of you. You make what turn into two, more into a truth. I'm so embarrassed, but I gotta tell the truth. I got a crush. 
this is fire, bro. Wow, man. That's so cool, bro. Man, is he sliding right now? And I love the production and the beats. What's good, Amchan? Jesse, what's good, bro? Shout out to Frosty Flock up in this bitch, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had this shirt for a while. The Lyrical Lemonade T. One of my favorite shirts. Fits perfectly. I love it. EDM on steroids. I, I said that before. Just like, you know, Glaive on crack and, you know, whatever. Um, but I like it. I like it. Not, not fully EDM, but yeah. In a, in a similar lane of uh, what did Ben say earlier? The influence he possibly learned from Skrillex, but he said Electro Clash. I'm gonna have to look into that. I have never heard that term before. That's crazy. Um, oh, yeah. I, yeah, Jesse. Yeah, I just got, I only have night classes. So, I mean, I guess I know it's probably like night for you, but uh, I gotta go to those later. It's gonna be unfortunate. What'd you send me? It's gonna be in a film with Timothy Chalamet. Wow, A twenty four films. Kid Leroy was in A twenty four film coming up this year. Random. They'd be higher than anybody now. <laughs> All right, track five. Yeah, he'll be good in the movie though. Good for Tyler. Makes sense. I saw it flash before me. Please. Too bad light and crush. Yeah, crush was great. Yeah, too bad. Some more build up. This made me smile so much because I heard this one in concert as well. And this was one of those moments where I'm like, whoa, whoa, I fuck with this, yo. I got to look into this guy. Um, so I do recognize that drop now that it's hit. That's dope. I'm missing some of the lyrics, but sometimes it's so minimal and you're kind of paying attention to the beat. And that's the point of half of these songs, really. But, again, who else? Does he produce with anybody else? I know he produces some. He's produced for other artists in the underground. He produced one of the new Ian tracks. I didn't officially drop, but I like this guy, man. This song's crazy. Drum hits were crazy too. What the fuck? I know you achieved it. Remember who you are. <laughs> I thought it was gonna drop again. But still kind of like atmospheric. I like the soundscape of this album. I do. I do. Um, I Yeah, I'm really liking this, man. I got a crush on you. That's cool. I'm glad I'm recognizing a few of the songs I saw live. All right, say it. Again, really not that many lyrics on this. Oh, this one's short. It's like a minute. 
Sorry, sorry for the ads, bro. Let me get my bag. I don't know. I guess you got a sub. Do I understand the hype, buddy? I've been on the hype, and I do understand the hype. I'm a, I'm a fan, Vamp, bro. I'm with you, 100%, bro. I'll agree with you on this. We disagree a lot, but I'll agree with you on this. Um, not bad. I mean, the vocals were quiet there. I mean, it's a short track. I kind of felt more like an interlude type of thing. Um, and we're kind of at, at this point in the album, the last kind of couple tracks have been very kind of production based. And I could see myself kind of just throwing this song on, especially if it's in the, the background and everything. Like, I won't, you know, I won't mind really this at all. I'm not going to favorite it. But, um, I mean, a part of this album is kind of like, I'm just going for this kind of lane of music. I want something to bob my head to. I want some more electronic sounds. I'm a big fan of like synthy production. And it doesn't always have to be this. It can be in trap beats as well or rage beats or whatever but um i really like the way he's been using it say it again if you like his more edm stuff you should check out his album too okay i just heard this album had some of it on there you know i saw him perform a few of these so i like the pop stuff too <laughs> I take no offense. Well, that was nice. Wanna know what's next? I can't lie, that kinda depends. And if you say it one more time for me, I know you love me best. I love you too. Why don't you say it again? Why don't you say it again? Why don't you say it again? There's those vocals. There may be a lot going on in the beat, but don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Um, Starboy is like this because more lyrics in his music. I mean, I've only heard so much of Starboy. Actually, one of them came on in Shuffle, and I know what you're talking about. It was kind of similar to this. I don't know what the track was called. It came on in a playlist I was listening to last weekend. Um, but yeah, Vamp, you have to you have to put me on. Is there like maybe is there a full project or something to check out for Starboy? Because I 100% want to get into his music. I know you've been talking about it, um, and and I know Two Hollis has other projects too. Um, so I'm gonna upload, you know, this one to the second channel, hopefully, and and we can work our way back. I want to check out more of this, more of his stuff, you know, 100%. Not not just this project. So I mean, I know I have other projects and EPs and singles. So. I'll just say it again. Good to know, Ben. So that's dope. Thank you. Low-key sing. Yeah. The 180 to switch ups are crazy. This time it's slower. Damn. So we just friends. I take no offense. You wanna know what's next? I can't like that. I kinda depends. I can't like that. I can't like that. Watch you say it again. Watch you say it again. Oh, what is that, bro? Bro, 
I wanted to say Say It Again is definitely one of the better ones. That was a great track. Um, I don't know what track someone said, like a Mario Kart, you know. Yeah, I mean, I want to play this high as shit playing Mario Kart Rainbow Road on a few of these tracks. I mean, no question. No question. Um, but he's kind of going off. I feel like that last track, though, I don't know if it's in the synth or in a keyboard or what, bro. I'm not a producer, so I don't know a few things, but I'm trying to learn. But there's some shit going on in the background that I, I fuck with heavy. Teenage Soldier. I'll do it. I'll do it after this, man. I'm also doing Molly Santana's EP from Friday. I didn't listen to that. I think it's like five or six tracks. Kind of a creepy start to the song. This song to me, especially with that drop uh, and that yelling kind of gets brought back, this is one of the more dramatic songs, but it definitely sounds a lot darker. Um, the 808s and bass is turned up a lot more uh, for the intro on this one. Um, just kind of a, not exactly the same kind of whispering he did earlier, but sometimes he just kind of, his vocals aren't always the same. Last track he showcased some of the singing he can do and some of the higher notes he can hit, but definitely like a different tone in his voice going into like this track, which is... Again, I don't know. Ben said he's clearly knowledge on Two Hollis and his history. Thank you for letting me know as I go through this album um, for the first time. I'm surprised that Two Hollis, you said this was his least experimental, um, which is interesting because who knows what's going to happen on his other projects I haven't listened to. What's a study load? Shit, I was doing some before this, man. It's uh, This summer wasn't bad. Um, but definitely I'm not liking this fall classes I have though. It's yeah, it's a little bit it's alright. It's a decent load of work though for sure, Jesse. Um Two Hall used to be more creative with lyrics. He started out rapping and singing on medieval beats and role playing as a knight in his lyrics. I get that, I understand where that comes from with his kind of aesthetic. Um I thought it was corny, so he deleted him. Like his really old stuff, I mean I wouldn't have known if it was like only SoundCloud stuff, but I'm interested of what he has officially released, I guess. That's interesting, though. It's kind of draggy. <laughs> I took her out to dinner. It's building up again. Whoa. Woo. So much is happening. Oh. 
think that... Hold on, chill, chill. Uh, I think the last song kind of gave me, um, at least on the drops and the yelling and some of the more like emotion you displayed did remind me of the first track a little bit. It's very heavy, there's a lot going on. It's chaotic on the drops. But I do, I do like the beat. Maybe it's not, I don't think Teenage Soldier is my favorite on the project, but it's fine. I listen to it with it. I don't know if I'm like handpicking that song out. I'm always going to listen to it, but still a cool song. That one definitely grew on me throughout the course of the track when the chorus came back and everything. Um, and I think that one was even different than most we've heard on the project, which is cool. But we got live track nine. I mean, there's so many sounds, I don't even know, bro. Lots of sound effects, too, I, I will add. I think I've heard it on three songs now. I might be wrong, but I swear to God, this guy adds the rocket noise for Minecraft in his music. I swear to God. I've heard that. When in Minecraft, bro, if you're flying around with an elytra, or you're trying to use fireworks, I swear to God, you put it on the ground, it makes that phew noise. I didn't really do it that well with my voice. But if you know, you know, and he definitely is using that in his songs. I swear to God. I, I heard it on this one, too. That's his tag? Is it actually the Minecraft noise? That's his tag? No way, that's fucking awesome if that's actually his tag. This song is goofy, but I like it. Like what? I mean, that's kind of a rap verse. What the fuck? This song, what is even happening? I don't know if I can fully process <laughs> the journey. Messed up. Fuck Catch up. Baby Pluto sample, you think? Like in the melody? Oh, that little wind down restart was sick. Wow. I don't know if I know what you're talking about, Vamp. I was it in the melody, or, or what do you mean? Uh, what's good, Ivan? Uh, he has two tags, the two, two, two sounds. Okay, and the fireworks. Interesting. That's that's very cool. I'm learning I'm learning more. That song right there, Lie, I like it. It was also one that I don't know if on first listen I'm going to fully grasp what the fuck I just listened to, but I don't think it was bad by any means. The amount of starts and stops it had and sound effects and different elements of the beat that only come in here and then you don't hear it for the rest of the track. I mean, so much is happening, you know? But I think that's what makes his music unique. I could totally see someone hearing part of this song, and maybe this song and be like, this is too much to process, or it's like brain rot and shit. Like, I, I could fully understand that as well. Thank you, Ivan, for the follow. Welcome to the flock. Um, and yeah, I can, I'm gonna, I'll can. i do a couple uh, recommendations for sure today. I'm going to finish this project.
like you've been crying. Okay, back to the piano, kind of slower, sadder. See, it's a lot of noise, but not in a bad way. I think it has emotional ties to it. I think he sets it up for that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes songs like this, it's almost kind of like a mini version of the first track in a way. Sometimes songs like this are a video, you know, imagery and everything, you know, would help help out a song like this, I think. Um, but that's interesting. And I like that he kind of goes for this, you know? It's... Uh, you know, we've gone other places and been a lot more hyper pop and electronic and shit on some other songs. That's not this song isn't here to be replayed. It's here to build. And I fuck with it. Um a little bit sadder and whis you know, whispery and I don't know, I almost sound like he cried in the song, making it. Which is which is crazy because he's asking if it's if she's crying because of him and and all these things, but Again, some of these tracks are to fill the album and build this world or soundscape, and I really fuck with it, and it's like, not all of them, you know, if I want to go to a crush, I'm going to a crush, you know, whatever, but sometimes songs are here to serve a better purpose for the album, not always replayability and whatnot. I kind of miss the Sanguine Paradise you guys were talking about, but that's in it, I'll have to go back and, and try that out. Also, Puerto or Puerto, however you say it, I did not know he produced for Ken and, and Glaive. That's interesting. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. I'm interested to see what he did produce. Sometimes there's just like smaller guys behind the scenes that you don't even know are orchestrating amazing sounds. So that's really cool. It's got kind of like a funeral sound to it here. Soft pianos on the album, I really like. I mean, I promise. I promise. I promise. Three, that's one more than two.
<laughs> Minecraft edit army. Um, I don't think that's another one with like no lyrics, I think. Skillix Tribute, wow. Geometry Dash. <laughs> um, okay, I understand the Skrillex, you know, influence we were talking about earlier. Wow, I need some Molly and listen to that shit. Damn. Okay. Also, again, if I'm playing the album, I'm not I'm not mad when that comes on. Interesting. He's the kid in this video. Holy shit, how old is this? I'm gonna mute it because I can't really play Skrillex, but that's him? Because his mom had the ties? How many views does this have? What the fuck? This is old as shit. This is 13 years ago. This is crazy. That's so crazy. Wow. I forgot Skrillex. His hair is absolutely abysmal. Especially back then. That's awesome though. Wow. And look at him now. Make it a name for itself. <laughs> All right, light. I had to walk up all your steps. Official Menace of Society is crazy, Jesse. Feel so, feel so unfair. Weekend manager, you think? So he's got the connections, he's set up for success. Oh, yeah, I know this song. Okay, he performed this one as well. I have a, definitely have a video of this one. Go to Berlin and go crazy. <laughs> hey, I didn't say plant. I'm the last person to say plant. Oh, I love this. when he wants to he can actually make pretty catchy choruses and whatnot that's crazy his dad's in a rock band he's got he has all the history for sure and all the connections from from his youth and then that's really cool how you get to see him when he's older now kind of do his own thing and blow up that's awesome I had to walk up all your stairs. okay this is gonna be another one of my favorites though This 
drops so good. Yeah, this is one of the better ones. This is awesome. The ending was like raw vocals. That was just like simply for the outro. I think he was kind of showcasing himself off right there. Wow cool album man we have one song to go like i said i think light's one of my favorites i think that's one of the more replayable tracks um i'm glad i recognized at least three of the tracks where i was like when i saw them live i was like this is fucking awesome now i finally checked it out i just kind of was getting other albums i have a lot to catch up on and there's also projects drop in almost every single week this year has been insanely stacked for music um but i am as I kind of discussed earlier, I am a new fan. <laughs> Let's do this last song. Mountain. Let's see how he ends it. And what I get huh? a broken car. Came in different on this one. Change of heart You let her down Lord knows I try You take my heart and spine And make my words come out In places they shouldn't be Oh no Tie your shoes I'm always torn apart I'm Target for you, oh, but what I get a memory of you, and when you hear me sing this song, I hope you know I miss you more than anything. Oh. So Okay, I'm not wrong for mentioning Glaive in this video, by the way. This song would be the most comparable to his music. Maybe not his alternative 2023 album entirely, but Glaive as an artist, he does that very well. I like, again, just very kind of low but mean and thoughtful tone to this track and somewhat mysterious, and I like it. I hope you know miss you more than anything Wow, okay, so clearly kind of a heartbreak, kind of recovery type of song, and he covered some of those topics in this. I think Mountain was a really cool ending to the project. I like he, I like that he kind of saved the rawest his vocals would be or showcased his singing more on that one. Um, he's got he's got talent for sure, um, and 
This album, if this wasn't its most experimental, I guess, boy, am I excited. No pun intended, by the way. Boy, am I excited to jump into more of his catalog. Uh, because there's a lot of good tracks on here. I'm going for some of the bouncy, hyper-pop shit. That's what I came here for. But I came away with, like, whoa, he's not just that, you know? Um, performer, like, he brought the energy. He's good. Um, he has an image and a style I like. And this, this is up my alley, and I'm looking for more artists like it. And hell yeah, this is dope. Cool soundscape to the project. I'm glad I finally got around to this. This is a good project. Um, I'll have to upload this one to the second channel, see how it does, and, and go back through his his catalog. Very, very nice, man. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of Two Hollis now, and all I had to do is just, um, you know, hang around and finally get around to listen to it, man. And I, I think he pulled through, man. I, I genuinely had a lot of fun with this project, and it's like a good experience. Like, I think he sets up an album well. Um, there's, you know, there's even a couple tracks that were more just production based and they even have lyrics and they're just like it's kind of cool to listen to sometimes and um slight amount of versatility and I, I don't think the lyricism is fairly simple at times or like i said it's just kind of a teen boy lyric lyrics you know heartbreak type of stuff you felt his pain on a few tracks he displayed it well i i think he's good man i, I think he's got a lot of elements too i'm excited to learn more about two hollis for sure